is 3.30 p.m. I'm going to take Simba outside for a walk. Come on, Simba, let's go outside. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. What you doing, Simba? See the squirrel? You see the squirrel? Calm down, Simba. Calm down. Those are drag racers. Just calm down. Calm down. They're not coming after you. They're just racing their cars. Calm down. You're okay. You're okay. Simba, calm down. You want to go in the grass? You want to go in the grass? You want to go in the yard? You want to hang out in the yard? What you doing, Simba?
Simba, look at the cat on the bicycle. Simba, look. Look at the cat on the bicycle. Do you see it? What are you doing? He's purring. Simba, you're purring? It's 8 a.m. I just looked outside and look, it's a turkey. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 1.23 p.m. right now. I just walked into the bedroom and saw this. So Stella and Simba are laying on this blanket that I threw on the bed last night. It was the first cold night, um, you know, in months since earlier in the spring. And um, I don't have a comforter on this bed. I just have like a duvet cover. There's nothing in it. Um, so it was a little chilly, so I threw a large throw blanket on the bed, and it seems that the cats love it. So they've been hanging out here pretty much all day so far. And Simba looks really good on it. It actually matches his fur.
This is an update on the tray of wheatgrass that I grew for the cats. So this is a very big disappointment. Not only did the cats not want to eat any of this wheatgrass, they also did not want to uh, use it as a bed, which they've done in the past. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this out. I'm going to keep the tray, obviously, but uh, all this grass inside, I'm going to throw it out and I'm going to regrow them some new grass. It's 12.45 p.m. and the cats have taken over the bedroom today. There's Stella, Splash, and Simba all on the bed. So yesterday I changed the bed so it's ready for the colder weather. And I put the comforter on it and there's a new blanket on it. Well, it's actually a winter blanket versus a summer blanket. And the cats really like it because there's a few more inches of softness on top of the bed. So um, I think that's why they're all here today. And there's Boo Boo sleeping on top of the cat tower. Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals.
Ash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. It is 10 a.m. and Stella's laying on the bed. She's laying on my towels. I got out of the shower a little while ago and Stella takes over the towels. And here's Boo. He's laying on the bed with Stella. He's hanging out with his dragonfly. The cats love this room. This is their favorite room of the house. And here's Simba. Simba's taking a bath on top of the armoire in his tub. How you doing, Simba? He says he doesn't want to be filmed taking a bath. Okay, Simba. It's 3.25 p.m. And I just came into the bedroom to look for my tablet. And look at what's going on here. So Splash is laying right in the middle of the bed, right near the pillows. And here's Stella. She's laying on her favorite part of the bed. And look who's laying next to Stella. It's Boo. Now Simba just came prancing out of the bedroom a little while ago. So I'm assuming maybe he was either on the bed or on a cat tower. And uh, this is what the cats do to uh, the bed and this bedroom. They just love it so much. It is mail time. The cat's got a whole bunch of mail. So let's open up this mail and see what they got. The cat's got an envelope. Let's see what it says. Well, the cat's got a coupon. Look, it says celebrate all the things. Any story of your life thing. Free eight by eight photo book plus 50% off everything. It says, make summer memories last. Redeem your offer, shutterfly.com forward slash Cole's offer. Offer ends December 31st, 2020. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'll do that with some photos of the cats. Thank you very much. And this was from Carlos DeLuca. And here's another envelope. Let's open this one. Isn't that cute with the baby giraffe? I fought animals and people thriving together. Animals matter to each other and to the world. Every individual animal has the capacity to feel joy, fear, and pain. And every individual is vital to the survival of their ecosystem. Their world is our world too. And IFAW, I-F-A-W, is committed to protecting animals, people, and the places they call home. IFAW.org. That is very cool. Oh, thank you very much. This says two ferals, Stella Simbabu, Splash Ditto, and Hydrox from Eileen. Thank you so much for your generous donation, Eileen. That will be put to very good use for cat supplies. And here we have another envelope. This one's been kind of squashed up a little bit in the mail. And look what we have. We have a moist wipe. These are really good. I like to keep these in the car because sometimes I'll be in the car and something will be like sticky on my hands. So these are really good. Thank you very much. And this is from Carlos DeLuca. And here's another envelope from Carlos. What do we have here? I have some post-it notes. Thank you very much, Carlos, for the post-it notes. I use these on lots of things, and these always come in handy. And here's another envelope from Carlos. What's in here? Look at this. Is that a leopard? Or is that a cheetah? Looks really cool. And look at the babies. It says, I go to nature to be soothed and healed and to have my senses put in order. John Burroughs. And this is from worldwildlife.org. This is a bookmark. Check that out. That's a pretty cool bookmark, right? Thank you very much, Carlos. And here's another envelope from Carlos. Carlos is keeping the post office very busy. What's in here? 
Oh, check this out. Look at this. These are these are playing cards. I've never seen playing cards like this before. Look at that. They're black. They're like all black. Isn't that cool? And they're they're kind of shiny and reflective. Thank you very much for the cards, Carlos. And here's another envelope from Carlos. What do we have in here? It's another moist wipe. I'll put this in the car with the other one. Thank you very much. And here's the last envelope. And this one's from Carlos. And here's another moist wipe. This one I am going to put in my purse because it's good to carry these around with you. You never know when you're going to need them. So thank you very much. Okay, now let's open this box. What is in the box? What is it going to be? Who is it from? It says, Dear LF, a small gift toy for the cats from an overseas fan. I think Boo and Simba are going to enjoy it. Thank you for taking care of them and uploading daily vlogs from Daddy's Secret Garden. Thank you so much, Daddy's Secret Garden, for this package. And here's another box. Let's open this other box. Whoa, check that out. Look at this. This is a big fish. Oh, it's a USB fish. <gasps> what? What, 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 what? Is this a flapping fish? So it has a zipper here. How does this work? And then what's in here? Here is a, a device which I believe has to be charged. Oh no, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Boo's right here. Okay, here Boo. He's afraid of it. Here Boo. What is that, Boo? What is it? Boo, it's a fish. Boo, get the fish. I'll be surprised if Stella doesn't come and check this out. Because Stella's very nosy. Simba's here. What is that, Boo? What is it? It's a fish. Okay, I know how to get this to drive the cats crazy. I know these cats, and I know what I have to do with the fish. Just gonna figure out how I'm gonna do it. Hold on. Okay, so this usually makes the cats go crazy. If I put something that moves under a blanket, they usually go after it.
Okay, so the fish came with the fishing pole. And some feather toys. Which I know Boo's gonna love. Can I put the fish on the fishing pole? Oops. Does that go that way? Okay, so I should mention there is no catnip on this fish. It does come with catnip also, but I did not put any on the fish yet. So I'm going to try the fish out uh, later with some catnip. This is one of the feather toys that came with the fishing pole. I think Boo's going to go crazy over this. He just loves feathers. Yeah, here he is already. You can't see him. Can you? There he is. I'm giving the cats each a small piece of raw duck breast, and I'm curious to see if they'll like it. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. So I just gave a little piece to the cats, and Simba ate it right away, so I said, let me go get more pieces. So at the poultry farm that I went to the other day, uh, they were selling duck breasts, and I thought I would see if the cats like them. Let's see if Simba's the only one that likes them, or if Stella and Splash will also eat some. You guys are going to eat the duck? Simba just ate his. Oh no, Stella, no! Oh! I knew I shouldn't have done this. Oh look, Splash ate his! Oh my gosh! 
Is Stella going to eat hers? Oh my gosh, Stella's eating hers. This is great. There's one for you, Boo. You going to eat it? Look at this. Splash says, if you're not going to eat it, I'm going to eat it. This is phenomenal. If all the cats will eat this, this is phenomenal. Eat it, Boo. Boo doesn't like to eat when other cats are trying to get his food. Eat it, Boo. Here. Right here. Eat it here. Right here. Eat that right there. Eat it, boo. Come on, I don't have all day. Here, eat that. You're not going to eat it? You know Boo's an Italian cat because he likes to take a long time eating his food. He likes to have a really long, elaborate dinner with lots of relaxing... Yeah, he ate it. That is awesome, Boo. So I keep testing out like raw snacks for the cats and I never have any luck. And look, duck breast is a big hit with them. So I'm going to put the rest of that duck breast in the fridge and I'll freeze the rest of it so I can take some out uh, and give it to them as healthy snacks. Good job, everybody. Stella, I got to clean where you... Got that duck on the uh, duvet cover. It's 6 p.m. Look at what's going on here. Look, here's Splash. And he's hanging out in this tent bed. I always call this the tent bed. And today, I put the tent bed on top of the armoire. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's a really good fit up there. And I thought maybe the cats would like it to have like a little getaway up there. And I thought for sure Simba would be the first one in it, but no, it's Splash. Splash is the first one up there. It looks like he really likes it. Look at Splash, he looks so comfortable. How you doing Splash? He looks like a happy cat.
Meanwhile, here's Simba. Simba's on top of the cat tower, not too far away from where Splash is. And here's Boo. Boo's on the bed. And Stella's in the room also. She's thinking about jumping up on the bed. So what I was hoping to do is the rest of the cat chores today while the cats were sleeping. <laughs> but as you can see, they're not sleeping. It's 11 a.m. I've been working on my computer for the past two hours and I needed to get up and stretch my legs and look what I found here. Stella, Simba, and Boo are all laying on the bed together. Isn't that cool? Stella. Stella, what are you doing? You're cleaning his butt? Okay, you're going to be nice. You're going to groom his feet. Simba says, why are you biting my butt? Stella says she loves Simba because Simba is her baby. So she could do whatever she wants to Simba because Simba is her baby, right? Well, Stella, you gotta be nice to your babies. You gotta be nice to your babies. Stella says Simba knows that she's only joking a lot of the times. She's just trying to be playful. And she says that she can't do that with Splash because Splash is so sensitive and serious all the time. Right, Stella? Here's Splash. Splash is on top of the cat tower. And here's Boo. Boo says, why you gotta make so much noise? I'm trying to take a nap. Okay, Boo. I'll leave the room and you can go back to napping, okay? Okay. Boo is very happy whenever Stella lays on the bed with him. He's so happy right now. He says, he loves Stella. He loves laying on the bed with Stella, right? And Simba. Even though Boo, uh, you know, Boo thinks he's the head of the household. He thinks he's the head of the cats. Boo, you know, Stella really, you know, is the one that controls all the cats. You know that, Boo, right? Boo says he's the head of the cats. Boo is the head cat. That's what he says. Okay, Stella will let you think that, Boo. Stella will let you think that you're the head of the cats, but she knows she's the real head of the cats. Right, Boo? No, Boo says he is. Boo says he's the, he's the fighter. Okay, Boo, you're the fighter. Boo says he wants more pets. He says, I can't leave yet because he wants more pets. Boo, you got so many pets today. You got so many pets today, Boo. Boo says he needs extra pets this time of year because people are not very nice to black cats in October. So black cats need extra special care, right? Okay. It is 2.17 p.m. And look at what's going on here. Nobody has moved. All they've done is curl themselves up in balls. Because the weather has started getting colder out. But they're still here. This is what they do. They take over this room. How you doing, boo? 
How you doing, boo? And there's Splash. He's still on top of the cat tower. I just came in the room to get some stuff because I have to head out for the afternoon. Let's see if the cats are still here when I get back. It's 4.45 p.m. I just got back. There's Stella. There's Simba. Splash is still on top of the cat tower. And here's Boo. Boo was on his day sofa when I walked down the hall. It is 10.50 a.m. The cats had breakfast maybe like an hour ago. And look at this. They're already on the bed. Here's Stella. There's a wand toy I was playing uh, with Boo and the dragonfly earlier. And here's Simba. And here's Boo. Hi, Boo. How you doing, Boo? Boo, you're so furry and cuddly. Cuddly Boo? Here's Hydrox. Hydrox had breakfast today. He had a 5.5 ounce can of the wholehearted chicken recipe, the pate. Hydrox loves the wholehearted food. He absolutely loves it. Usually when I give it to him, he eats an entire can. And look how much nicer his fur is looking now that the weather is getting cooler. His winter coat is growing in. There are less bugs bothering him. And the weather's also been very dry recently, so uh, he's not all like wet from being out in the rain. It is 3.37 p.m. and look at what is going on here. Here's Stella. And there's Simba and Boo. They've taken over the bed again. Right, Boo? And there's Splash. Splash is on top of the cat tower. This is two days in a row now that the cats have done this. Boo is always so happy when he can hang out with Stella. It's 5.15 p.m. Boo, Stella, and Simba are still all laying on the bed together. And there's Splash. And there's Splash on top of the cat tower. Now I need to get something in the opposite corner of the room. And if I just walk there, Splash is going to freak out and dive off the cat tower and under the bed. So I might have to take an alternate route. Look at this. Boo just moved over next to Simba. How you doing, Boo? Boo is hanging out on top of the cat tower. Of course, the minute I turn the camera on him, he has to jump down. How you doing, Boo? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is mail time. The cat's got a whole bunch of envelopes. Let's see what the cat's got. Simba and Stella are both around. This looks like a letter. This says, Dear Lucky Ferals, I'm a fan. I'm sorry I don't have anything to give to you. I'm sorry. Maybe we'll find something. I think I'll find something. That's okay. You don't have to send me anything. You sent me a very nice letter. And this is from Carlos DeLuca. And here's another envelope. This says, Hi Lucky Ferals, how are you doing? I hope you are doing great. Your cats are really cute. My favorite cat's Boo, but I like all of them. I don't know to say. I don't have much to say and don't have 
to give you my sorry, but I love your videos. You're amazing, YouTuber. Your videos are great. Thank you so much for this awesome letter. And I think this is from Carlos DeLuca. It's not the name on the envelope. The name on the envelope says Audrey. So I'm not sure, but I think this is from Carlos. Thank you very much. I will tell Boo that he is your favorite. And I'll tell the others that you like them also. What do we have here? Here's a note. It says, hi, Lucky. Your cats are cute and I love your videos. That is awesome. From Carlos. Thank you for your lovely note, Carlos. This one has two pieces of a puzzle. And this says, Dear Lucky, how are you doing? I am doing good. I love your cats from Carlos. Thank you very much, Carlos. That's another really nice letter. And here's another envelope. What's in here? What's in this envelope? Oh, look. Look at what's in here. It looks like the rest of the puzzle. What is this the puzzle of? Is it a Christmas puzzle? the snowman puzzle thank you very much this was from Carlos DeLuca that was fun to put together okay and here's another envelope oh what is this it's a dollar thank you very much Carlos I'm assuming this is from Carlos okay and what do we have here This says to boost Stella Splash Simba and Hydrox from Carlos DeLuca, JJ DeLuca, and Aubrey DeLuca. Thank you guys so much. You sent the cats a dollar. This will buy them some treats. That is awesome. The cats are going to love their treats. And we have one more envelope here. There's a card. It says, thank you. That's pretty. Ooh, there's $10. It says, to Lucky Ferals, I want to let you know how much you're appreciated. You're the best. Stella Boo, Splash Simba, Hydrax, and Ditto. Thank you very much for this generous donation. And this is from Eileen. Thank you very much, Eileen.
Good morning, Simba. How are you today, Simba? Today is fish day. The cats get fish for breakfast. Good morning, Stella. Today for breakfast, the cats are having this Blue Wilderness salmon recipe. This is one of the cans that I got on sale, on clearance at the going out of business sale. I topped their food with two dried minnows. So this food was a big hit with the cats. They ate the first can that I gave them and I just opened a second can and now they're having seconds. That's what I do with them. So if I open up a can and they don't finish it, that pretty much means they're not too thrilled with the food. And a lot of times they'll just go upstairs and just be off for the day until dinner. But if they really like the food, then I will open another can because I'm only splitting a 5.5 ounce can four ways. So they're getting like an ounce and a half each, which is only about 50 calories. So now they're getting like a full portion when they like the food. But they do also get crunchies at night, which I consider like a third meal for them. So I make sure their calories are split between three meals. It's 10.27 a.m. It's about a half hour after breakfast. Boo was hanging out on top of the cat tower. Of course, the minute I turn the camera on him, he has to jump down. How you doing, Boo? Boo says, give, give him pets. Okay, Boo. Pets for Boo, pets for Boo. Boo, you got a lot of pets this morning. You want more pets? Okay, boo, you're a good boy. Hello, Splash. What are you doing? Splash was looking out of the window. But when I put the camera on him, then he jumps down. It is mail time. The cats got some mail. They got a big box, so let's see what they got. Simba just came. He says he's going to help me. Okay, Simba, you help me. So here's Simba. Let's open the envelopes first. What you get, Simba? What you get, Simba? Oh, look at that. Look what we got, Simba. We got an off deep woods insect repellent towelette. I use insect repellent when I spend a lot of time outside when the sun is going down, if I'm uh, doing yard work or interacting with Hydrox and Ditto. So thank you very much. What else do we have here, Simba? What do we have? Who's watching? Who's watching from a few feet away? Oh, check this out, look. It's a mask. That's very cool. Like, just went through a few of these uh, disposable type masks and uh, it's good to have another one. Thank you very much. And I'm assuming that the mask and the insect repellent are from Carlos De Luca. So thank you very much for thinking of me. This is a box from Sharon in Rockville Center. Let's open it up and let's see what she sent. Let's see what's in here. Always lots of goodies. Look, here's a note. Here's a note. Let's read the note. This says, Hi, Lucky Farrell's mom. Hope that you are doing well. I just wanted to send some things to you. I'm sure the fleece squares with the fringe got smushed in the mail, so they may need to be fluffed up. The mini quilts are kind of weird because one is Halloween. I could not resist as I love Halloween colors. And the quilts are all different sizes. I guess it would have been better if 
I kept to a certain size. The pink one I thought of Queen Stella as probably a bit too big. I got carried away. If you would prefer a different size quilt, please let me know. When washed, the quilts will shrink a little and should get more quilty looking. Please give a couple of things to Grandma Farrell if she would like them or anyone. Whenever I learn to make something, I tend to make a lot of them. Ha! I enjoy your videos and love your kitties. My 15 and a half year old Sunday says hi. Regards, Sharon and Sunday. Thank you so much, Sharon, for this note and this box of goodies. Um, the cats all say hello to Sunday. Hope she's doing well. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see what's in the box. I'll definitely uh, share some stuff with Grandma. What do we have here? Oh my gosh, look. Look at the stuff. Look at that. Look at the fabric. I think this is like an eyeglass case or sunglasses. That is so cool. Here's another one. This is like for reading glasses. And check this out. Another one. Look at the different fabrics. Here's another glasses case. Look at this one with the cats. I, I'm i assuming that's what these are for, Sharon. If these are uh, for a different purpose, please let me know. Please leave a comment. But these are really beautiful. Isn't that nice? Look at this. Look at this bag. I use bags like this all the time. I use a lot of bags like this for electronics and um, like external hard drives and wires and chargers and things like that. It helps keep them organized. Uh, so thank you very much. Isn't this nice? Nice little bag. You can put all kinds of things in these bags. I also use another bag like this for coupons. Look at this one. It says boo all over it. That's cool. I'm trying to think if there's anything uh, for Boo. No, Boo doesn't really have anything that I could put in this bag. He would love this bag, though. I mean, I could always put crunchies in it for Boo or his dragonflies. Look at this cute little bag with the lavender and the cats. Look, it looks like Boo and Stella and Simba. It looks like all the cats. That's so cute. Look at the inside. Look at that fabric. I've never seen so many cat fabrics before. That's really amazing. And look at this one. Look at these cats. Aren't they adorable? It's so colorful. It's really cute. And there's always a, a matching and coordinating uh, complementary fabric. That is so nice. Thank you, Sharon. What do we have here? Oh, look at this. This is really nice. This is big enough to fit a tablet. Is that what these are for? Are these tablet pouches? That is really cool. Look at this one with the green and the cats. Would my tablet, would Stella's tablet fit in here? I wonder. Let's check it out. So, there's my iPad. Will it fit in here? Even with my iPad case on? Look at this. Look at that. Look how awesome that is. So for traveling, this really gives it a lot of protection because this is really nicely padded. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Sharon. And it actually matches. Look at this, the blue. Look at what a perfect match that is. The blue and the blue. So normally what I've been doing is I've just been like tossing this in a duffel bag or in a backpack like this. But now I can actually put it in here. It's going to be a lot more protected. So thank you very much. And this one I'll give to grandma so she could use this for her tablet. She has the same tablet. Look at this. Look. Look how cute this is. It's a bag. It's like a drawstring bag. Isn't that adorable? Look at that fabric. Look at all of the cats on that fabric. That is so cool. 
one look at this one look look at these fat cats look at the fat cats aren't they cute there's a skinny black and white one these are awesome fabrics these are so cool and look at this one with the Siamese cats on it wow these take a lot of work you are so talented Sharon these are so awesome and look at these look at the quilts that's cute this is really cute can you see it's like branches with like woodland animals on it there's like there's a squirrel that looks like a turtle there's squirrels and an owl that is so adorable and this is so colorful I can't imagine how much time and patience goes into making something like this so thank you so much oh my gosh and this is the Halloween themed quilt that is really cute and look who's in the middle look who's in the middle right there can you see that it looks like a black cat there's a black cat there's boo and boo loves these quilts there's a quilt on his day sofa and he loves laying on it and I'm probably going to put some of these on on my bed uh, just because the cat's laying on it look it even says boo I don't know if you can see that it says boo here it says boo there they're so cute and look at the back look at that that is so cool the Halloween themed back with all of the jack-o'-lanterns that is so cool thank you Sharon and there's more wow oh wow look at this one. Oh my gosh this one you could like hang on a wall wow this is like artwork look at how gorgeous this is I love the colors on it and look at all the different cats isn't that cool that is just so nice oh look at the back look it has like these these uh, primitive country uh, themes and look look at the cats there's cats on this look that is so cool apple trees bluebirds houses this is beautiful look at this look look at this oh this is just this has to be Stella's look at look at how awesome this is with the pink and blue cats you see the pink and blue cats and the rainbows and then the lavender I think Stella will love this here's the back it has yellow with like a paisley pattern on it that's really pretty look at the really nice quilt pattern though that is gorgeous and what else is in here what do we have here oh my gosh look at this look this is like um is it fleece yeah this is like a fleece quilt and do you see the cat faces can you see all the cat faces on there isn't that cute the cats are set the cats are set for blankets and this side has a lot more of the fringe on it which is cool that's awesome thank you oh and look at this one that's nice I think Simba's gonna like this I like to give Boo the ones with the black cats on it because he feels like he relates to those and um, I think Simba will like this one very much I love the colors on this one also so thank you so much so there's a beautiful quilt another beautiful quilt and, and then there's this one this is like a like a princess quilt then there's this one this is like a work of art to hang on a wall and then there's this one the Halloween quilt which Boo loves the Halloween quilts because he likes to celebrate black cats I think Splash will really like this one this is really nice and colorful and then there's the the drawstring bags and then there's I'm gonna call these the tablet cases because I think that's what they're perfect for and then some smaller 
Uh, these could be change purses or just uh, organizing bags for cables and supplies and another bag. This could be like a makeup bag, a toiletry bag, or again, um, hard drives and electronic stuff and the boo bag. And then the eyeglass uh, cases. I believe that's what they are. Thank you so much for these amazing goodies, Sharon. A while ago, Sharon sent a very similar box of goodies to me and the cats, and she got a lot of uh, comments from people that asked her if she had an Etsy shop. And Sharon did not have an Etsy shop at that time. Right now, she does not have an Etsy shop either, but she did give me an email that I can share with you. So if you are interested in purchasing any items similar to these, please send her an email. And her email is SharonSunday at gmail.com. And if you send her an email and tell her what you're interested in, she can get back to you and let you know uh, how much she charges for something like that. And uh, you guys can then work something out. I'm assuming she would take payments via PayPal or something similar to that. So I wanted to share her email with you. She did give me permission to do that. And she is open to taking orders if you'd like a quilt for your cat similar to the ones that I just showed you or one of these awesome bags or a tablet case or an eyeglass case or uh, something like that uh, please send her an email and let her know and uh, yeah thank you so much Sharon and Sunday for this awesome package <laughs> It is 6.15 p.m. and I just looked outside and saw this. I don't know who this is. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Look at this cat. I don't know if I've seen this cat before. It's a very pretty cat. Looks like Stella and Simba. It looks so comfortable in the yard though. This is why I think it's weird normally when cats have not been in the yard before, they don't hang out like this. Like they might walk through or pass through. I mean, but this cat really looks like it's at home. Here comes Hydrax. Hydrax is walking across the patio. I don't know if I, I don't know if Hydrex is going to see this cat. Now this cat also looks really well fed. So I'm not sure if this cat belongs to somebody. Or what. Okay, Hydrex just walked off the patio. I think he just came to look if there's any food by the door. He's been hanging out under the car in the driveway. Let me see if I could go get my other camera that zooms in farther. Okay, I just walked back in the room and look at this, look. Oh, look, the cat's going after a moth. It looks like such a nice cat. I wonder if it came by to have some food. I wonder if it's been eating from the feeders. It looks happy in the yard. Look at this. Oh my God, it totally reminds me of Stella. I wonder what's gonna happen when I go outside. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I wonder if this is Stella's brother or sister. Maybe they came to see Stella. Where is it going? Is it going to go eat out of the feeder? Oh, 
Is it gonna eat out of the feeder? Look, 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 look. Yeah. It's eating some food out of the feeder, so I'm gonna stay inside until after it eats. I don't wanna scare it. But it knew where the feeder was. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to check the security camera footage because there is a camera pointing at the feeder. And hopefully the battery is fully charged and it has been filming. It sounded like one of the inside cats jumped on the kitchen table. They're not allowed on the table, but they just jumped on the chair. Wow. This is really interesting. Is this the same cat uh, that came around last winter? Remember there was like um, a tabby cat with like a white bib. I wonder if this is the same cat. When it came around last winter, it looked like it was probably a teenager. Maybe it was just one year old. And now this cat looks like it's fully grown. So cats don't look fully grown until they're about 18 months old, until they're about a year and a half, then they really start looking fully grown. Prior to that, um, they still look like teenagers. Does the cat see me? Where's it gonna go? Hey kitty. didn't eat that much and that's the direction where hydrox is so i don't know what's gonna happen it was simba hello simba there's a cat outside that looks like you simba so simba and splash turn four at the end of april the beginning of may so they're almost four and a half but every time i look at them i still think they're like two i don't know where the last few years have gone like i always still see Splash and Simba as kittens, just fully grown kittens. And, you know, when cats reach full maturity, like around 18 months, so I only see them as like they're two years old. Even with Stella and Boo, like I can't believe that they're five years old plus a few months. I still see them as younger also. But especially Splash and Simba because they were such little kitties. It's about 10, 15 a.m. and look at this, look at this. Look at these two. Look at this, they look like Simba. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. I haven't seen these two around before. Look at these two pretty cats. They're gonna go across to the woods, is that where they're going? That one's running away. We're running down the road. Oh, someone's walking their dog. Yeah, someone's coming. To me, those cats look like siblings, and that's exactly how I used to see Stella and Boo. When I first started seeing Stella and Boo coming into my yard, that's how I saw them. The two of them were always together like that, and they were like the same age. So that's why I always thought Stella and Boo were siblings, because I always saw them like I just saw those two tabby cats. And to me, those two tabby cats look like siblings also. Right, Simba? Are they your distant relative, Simba? Simba, you've been living inside now since 2017. So you've been living inside almost four years. Right, Simba? Simba says if he's related to them, he doesn't know them. Simba, you know how we would know for sure? We would know for sure by looking at their noses. If they had a cute little nose like you do, then they're probably related to you, right, Simba? 
even though I think they are related to you, I think they're definitely all from the same, the same cat family from the woods, right? Right, Simba? Would you rather live in the woods or are you happy inside? Simba says he's a very comfortable cat living inside. Right, Simba? Okay. Simba says if he wasn't living inside, he wouldn't be so fluffy. Both of the cats just ran across the street into the woods. So they're definitely off hunting. Good morning, Simba. What are you watching? Birds or bugs? Good morning, Stella. How are you today? See, when they do that, what they're doing is they're rubbing up against my legs. Good morning, Hydrox. I was just outside and Hydrox was hanging out on the patio and he's been meowing at me, so I'm gonna give him some food. He's hungry today. Maybe there's rain coming. Usually the cats outside get hungry before the rain comes. Good morning, Boo. How are you today, Boo? I know how Boo was today because he got pets this morning. He slept on the bed all night. Boo's been a very good boy. He's very excited because his girlfriend is coming to see him today. Right, Boo? You ready for your girlfriend, Boo? Boo's girlfriend is Grandma Farrell. Boo loves his grandma. She's coming to see you today, Boo. You happy, boy? He says he's happy, but he wants to eat his breakfast. It's 9.32 a.m. Hydrox is eating so much food this morning. He's on a second can of food. So soft, too. Your fur is so soft. Okay, come on. Grandma's going to give you fish. Good, Simba. You want another one? Huh? You want another tree? Oh, yeah. Look, he can't wait. He wants to take it from me. Simba. How many could he get? Already had five. Okay, it's the last one. Okay, good boy, Simba. Grandpa just took the shelter out from under the house, and I don't know if you could see it. It's really disgusting. There's a whole bunch of poop in the shelter. Someone has been pooping in the shelter. It's mail time. And we got a package here. I don't know who it's from, but it says it? it is. Just with this. It says it is to Grandma, Grandpa, and Lucky Farrell. So let's open this up. Okay, you said it. Mm -hmm. I wonder what this could be. It smells good. Yeah. Mmm. Very good. Okay, I think I could get it now. Oh, got peanuts. Mm. Oh, they're 
card in here or a note. I'll get that later, I guess. Mm. Smells good. Oh, here's another little a complimentary sample for you. A Zumbar goat's milk soap. Mmm. That's good. Wow. Look at all these nice packages. And this is aromatherapy. And this is thanking Thanks for your ordering, Zum Lovely. And this is, uh, oh, this is nice too. It's a brochure of all their great products. Okay, so we're going to open the first one. Oh. Lemongrass. Mmm. That smells so good. Wow. Look at this. Four bars. I smell it. Mmm. Oh, yeah, that smells good. These are so. They smell so good. Very nice. I like how they're putting the brown bags. That's nice. Thank you very, very much. It's wonderful. Because I know that these soaps are so wonderful. Oh, grapefruit. Mmm. Smells good, too. Oh, that's, that smells good. These are fantastic, these soaps. But... They're very hard to come by unless you order them because in our local sh uh, stores, they don't carry them. They used to, but they don't carry them anymore. Let's see what this one is. Mm. Almond. Mmm. Oh, I love that, too. Oh, my God. Oh. That smells good. I could almost eat this. It smells so good. Yeah. Well, one thing, these are the most... Reminds me of Christmas cookies. Yeah. And these are the most fragrant soaps, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much. We will be enjoying these soaps for sure. And we're going to smell so good. Oh, Grandpa, he's going to smell nice and good. And what is this one? Mmm, oatmeal and lavender. Oh, that's nice mm. too. That's good. Wow, we're set. We're set with all these soaps. Thank you so much. Mmm. And another one. Wow. They're good. And this is the last one. I wonder what this could be. Oh, frankincense. That's and Mirth, my, my favorite. Lucky's favorite. Oh, Ooh, that's good. This is nice. Well, Grandpa likes to use this too. Mmm. I love them all. I don't know if I could say which one is my favorite. I think I love them. The scents. They're all good. Thank you so much for sending these. We don't know who sent them, but we sure look forward to trying them. Can't wait to try each one. This is our favorite brand of soap.
This is the new and improved cat shelter. There's some brand new carpet inside of it and I'm gonna put in the uh, heated pet pad. Here's the heated pet pad and I'm gonna wrap it up in a blanket that was sent to Hydrox um, about a year or two ago and uh, put it aside for him. Make sure it's wrapped good so it doesn't come up. It ain't coming up. Now hopefully Hydrox will not be pooping in here. I don't know who was pooping in here. Hopefully it wasn't him and hopefully it does not continue. It could have been marking because we've seen Ditto marking the yard. Maybe Ditto went in here and he was pooping. I really think the pooping in here was to kind of mark ownership of it. I made Kagutsa Ziti and it's a uh, Kagutsa squash with peppers, onions, garlic, mozzarella, regatta cheese, and the ziti, and my sauce, my homemade sauce. The cats are having their crunchies, except for Splash, he's downstairs hiding. This is the custom cat shelter that's under the house and right here there's a vestibule and there's another vestibule and this is the actual shelter itself and it has a door there and a door there and today Grandpa Farrell is actually going to put a window in here because I always thought uh, Hydrox would like to have a window and be able to see out. I also think it's good to be able to see in so he's going to put a window in there today. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Gonna put in a new window in this little cat house. I'm putting a window in made out of plexiglass. I'm walking it off where I gotta cut the window out. So I gotta make the whole quarter of an inch narrower than my plexiglass. So it holds it in place. Marking the whole spots where I gotta drill my hole. So I can put my jigsaw in there and cut it around. Drilling my pilot holes. Now I cut the whole the, the board out.
window. framing out my glass, fiberglass, to hold it in place with the two layers of trim. To make it look nice. That's kind of how it's going to look, but I got to glue the uh, five glass window in place and then nail the uh, trim in place to hold, hold the glass. I'm putting my trim together to wrap around the plexiglass. Applying a little bitty glue to the trim work before I nail it in place. Okay, we just finished framing our plexiglass window. Now I'm gonna put a bead of silicone caulk around the window to hold the glass in place. This is clear, it'll dry clear silicone. Peeling them off the protective plastic cover. Fit our glass in. Squeeze it in. And then we put another bead of on top to hold it in place. The cork takes about 24 hours to dry. So now with the window we can look in and we can see if someone's in the shelter and who it is. 
And there it is, the new and improved shelter under the house with a window. I mean, look how brave they're getting. Look at this, look at this. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 4.30 p.m. and Simba has been napping on the cat tower all day. Boo has been napping on the bed all day. Right, Boo? They're all very tired from their big day with Grandma and Grandpa yesterday, right? Yeah, so they're taking lots of naps today. And Stella's downstairs. She's taking a nap in the carrier, in the soft-sided carrier. I don't know where Splash is. I saw him before. I don't know where he's been all day. How you doing, Boo? And this is what I'm doing. I just prepped about six pounds of quail, maybe about 12 pounds of chicken, um, some chicken hearts, livers, gizzards, all that stuff. And just about to get the grinder out and start grinding everything up, and making some homemade cat food. I do this about once a month. It is now 5 p.m. and all the meat has been ground up and I put all of the various supplements on it. The only thing I have left to do is mix it all together and then scoop it out and freeze it. So I have some wheatgrass powder on here, um, have some vitamin E, some vitamin B complex, um, I have some turmeric, I have some kelp, I have some marillonite clay, um, I have some nettle, and I think, I think that's everything in this batch. I kind of change the recipe a little bit uh, each time I make it. Um, but yeah, for this batch, I think that's gonna be it. And look who's been sitting here on the chair watching me. Stella, she even had to taste it a few times. There's a little crunchy plate on the floor. That's where she had to have a few taste tests so she could approve it as I went along. It is 6.17 p.m. and there's Hydrox. He's hanging out under the patio table. He's been walking around the patio. I'm just about to give him some food, some of the homemade raw food I just made. And he's looking really good. His fur is looking a lot better. And um, so he was out and about like on the patio when grandma and grandpa were here yesterday and they were kind of surprised by that because every time they see him, he's getting friendlier and friendlier with them. They remember when he used to just like run out of the yard, uh, you know, when they used to see him and he doesn't do that anymore. And something else happened yesterday. So yesterday, uh, Grandpa and I were in the garage and we were organizing some things. I have some shelves in the garage, like built-in shelves. And we were organizing some things and I went to pull out the cover for this patio table. And the covers are a few years old and I remember it having rips in it. And I remember thinking I either have to uh, repair it or throw it out. So I went to pull out the cover off the shelf and something like jumped out of the cover and then like ran around and went back into the shelf. And whatever it was, was gray and furry. It was like a small furry gray thing. So I assumed it was a mouse. I also had a few moving blankets on the shelf, which we took off the shelf. And when we opened one of the moving blankets, it looked like Swiss cheese, like it was full of holes. So obviously there was a mouse living in it and just gnawing a bunch of holes in it. So it was already quite late. Uh, the stores weren't really open around here that I could like run to and get some um, something for the mice. So what I did was I looked online and uh, quite a few people were saying that they keep mice away with dryer sheets and also with peppermint essential oil. So what I did was I grabbed the dryer sheets and I put some peppermint essential oil on them. I figure like I'll get the best of both worlds here, the dryer sheets and the essential oil. And I put probably like five or six of those uh, on the shelves. And today, and today when I open the garage, the entire garage smells so good. It smells like peppermint essential oil. Um, 
So hopefully there will not be a mouse in the garage. And I told Hydrox that he's in charge of making sure there's no mouse in the garage. If it comes out of the garage, he has to eat it. And here's the new window in the shelter. I really like having a window in it because obviously I could see right in. And even at night, uh, when the lights come on, there are motion sensor lights out here. When they come on, it's really easy to see if anyone is in the shelter. So I think it's great. And there are still a whole bunch of mosquitoes and biting bugs outside. And that's what was going on with Hydrox. We got all bit up yesterday. Grandma Farrell got all bit up yesterday. I got a few bites myself, but it wasn't too bad. Hello, Boo. Boo, do you ever get tired of sleeping so much? It is 8.30 a.m. Good morning, Simba. How are you today? Good morning, Boo. This is Stella's favorite scratching post. It is a floor to ceiling scratching post. I think I got this at Walmart quite a while ago and it's been here maybe for a year now and it comes in segments so it's very easy to assemble and I just rearranged these and I just rearranged the segments the other day so Stella has some fresh uh, places to scratch. So this is the bottom segment which is new and she's just started scratching on this one And then we could go up to this next segment and you can see it's pretty well loved so she has been scratching on that one And let's go up to the next segment and look at that. That's the segment that was on the bottom before and she's pretty much torn all the carpet off of it so that has to be either recarpeted or round or wound up um, with a, like rope and then this top one it actually has a spring mechanism on the top and it's um, being held up in place um, through tension it's like a tension rod and so that 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 part on top you can actually push it down and then um, to take the whole pole down you just push it down and it comes down um, but when you push it up like that it's pretty sturdy I mean it you can shake it a little bit but it's not gonna come down even if a cat jumped on it it's not gonna come down so this is Stella's favorite place to scratch I wish the other cats would scratch on it also and originally I thought they'd like to climb on it since um, they like to climb things but they don't like to climb on it maybe it's too narrow for them to climb on it and there's Simba and there's Stella, I'm just about to give them breakfast. It is 7.55 p.m. right now, and I just heard like a really strange noise, and um, I was working on my computer in the dining room. And what happened was, I saw Stella in the hallway, and she was like walking very cautiously uh, into the kitchen. And then I walked over here and Boo, Boo was right here and he had attacked the glass because there were two raccoons right here and another raccoon right there uh, eating Hydrox's food. So thankfully the glass was here because, I mean, Boo hit the glass really hard and that's what I heard. And um, yeah, the door is locked, thankfully, because if it wasn't locked or closed all the way, potentially he could have gotten it open. But um yeah, so the raccoons were right here and Boo was right here. So I don't know what was going on with that. Um, they're obviously looking for food. Um, today, I was talking to Grandma Farrell and she told me that she found out that raccoons don't like mint either. So Stella's right behind me right now. And she told me that I should like spray some mint around the feeder. 
and around the patio and I could potentially keep the raccoons away. Um, I have not had a chance to do that yet, um, but I'm thinking about it. And what happened was today when I went into the garage to see, oh no, it's limping, oh no. Oh my gosh, there's a limping raccoon. That's not good. Um, so what I, what I was going to say, what I was going to say is, they're looking for food. But, I mean, look how brave they're getting. Look at this, look at this. So what I was saying, um, so what happened earlier today was I opened the door to the garage and when I went inside the whole garage smelled like peppermint oil. And I had put one of the security cameras in the garage overnight and it did not capture any motion at all. So I'm hoping that the aroma of the peppermint um, made the mouse leave. I don't know how it got in. I'm hoping it was just one mouse and I'm hoping it left. Um, but maybe what I'll do is I'll go spray some peppermint uh, oil on some stuff uh, around the feeder and the, the patio. And maybe it'll keep the raccoons away. And here's Stella. She's very concerned about what's been going on. It's 10.47 a.m. The cats had breakfast maybe a half hour ago. They had playtime before breakfast. And now they're just relaxing. None of them liked the breakfast that I gave them because I forgot to defrost the raw food again. So I opened up a can of food. And it's the kind that's like, um, like shreds, I think. And... It comes with gravy, and they licked up all the gravy, and they left all the shreds. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Hello, Stella. So this is their new favorite toy. So this is the pom-pom garland with uh, the boa a loop through the end of it so the uh, garland has this loop and I just put the boa through it and what I do is I drag this around the house like a giant snake and the cats go crazy over it right Stella she says she loves it and she runs around the house like a kitten like so fast galloping around the house and uh, Simba does the same and splash and boo and they all take their turns running after the giant moving snake Stella, you love the snake? It is 8.15 a.m. And there's Hydrox scratching. It's 8.15 a.m. And there's Hydrox at the back door. That's what I just heard from the other side of the house. And there's Ditto. I haven't seen Ditto in quite a while. Ditto looks like you put on some weight, which is good. And uh, they're tearing up the road again today, again, for the next three days, they're tearing up the road. So there's all kinds of noise and machines outside. And I was woken up today by a cop banging on my front door. First they rang the doorbell, then they rang it again. And then I was like, what is going on? And then they were banging on the door. And then I looked and it was a cop, so I was like, oh, I, better, I better answer it. But I was totally asleep. And um, he told me about... Uh, the road work and now I got to feed these cats because it rained all day yesterday like poured all day yesterday so they're really hungry and the phone's ringing so I'm gonna go get the phone it's 8 30 I'm just about to feed Hydrox and Ditto do you hear how loud this is 
That's coming from the street. Splash is hiding under the bed. I think Simba's hiding with him. And Stella and Boo are just walking around very concerned, like, what is going on? So I'm going to give the outside cats food, and then I'll feed the inside cats. I give them each a can of food. They're splitting a 5.5 ounce can of the four health cat food. I gave Ditto his plate down on the patio. He didn't want to eat down there. So I put it up here because he kept looking at like what Hydrox was doing up here. Yeah, they don't like all this loud noise and all the machinery and everything. At one point, a little while ago, I mean, the entire house was, like, vibrating. They were, I don't know what they were doing, but, like, if I could feel it in the house, the cats definitely felt it outside, too. Shook up all the cats. And I think the reason why Ditto showed up this morning is because wherever he has been sheltering um, has also been disturbed, so... I have a feeling that Ditto's been sheltering in a neighboring yard. I don't think he's been in a neighbor's house just because of how dirty he is all the time, if you look at his paws and everything. But I do know one of the houses around here, like the cats like to sneak under the front porch. Um, there's like this opening they can sneak into. And uh, so I have seen cats sheltering themselves there. Then I do have another neighbor with an open shed. Um, they have like a dilapidated garage and like an open shed. And that's where there is a large quantity of mice. So I know that's where the, uh, the cats and the other animals like to go. That's like hunting grounds. So Ditto could be sheltering around there too. And Hydrox has been hanging out around the patio at night, but I don't know where he goes all the time yet, either. I mean, they both like to go to the woods. All right, so Hydrox is having a good breakfast. Good morning, Simba, you came out? You came out from hiding? Simba says, yeah, he's ready for breakfast. And there's Stella. Stella says she's ready for breakfast also. Okay, guys, you gotta wait. I gotta finish getting ready for my day, then you guys could have breakfast. I just gave Splash breakfast under the bed. Boo is too nervous to eat downstairs, so he is going to eat up here on the play rug. Good morning, Splash. It's about 7.15 a.m. And this is where Splash has been all morning. On top of the sofa. Near the window. Doesn't he look comfortable? And here's Stella. She wants me to put the toy on for her. The cats had a special treat last night, so they had some, I think it's the Pure Bites uh, salmon, not the freeze-dried, the one that comes like in liquid, and these little uh, dishes worked really well for that. There was nothing that spilled out, and it was great. Um, so that's why the dishes are still on the ground, because then after they had their little special treat, they had a little bit of crunchies in them. So I think I'm going to turn this toy on for Stella. Stella would rather rub up against my legs because they just came out of the shower. Okay, Stella, you play with the toy and then I'm going to go get ready for my day, okay? You play with the toy and I'll get ready for my day. It's 8.45 a.m. and Stella's been sitting here on the bed with her boa as I've been getting ready for my day. And Boo has been watching squirrel videos on the TV, right, Boo? You're watching the black squirrels. Boo says he never saw a black squirrel before. He's very interested in them. It is 8.06 p.m. I'm not sure if I filmed anything today. Here is Hydrox eating dinner. 
He's been hanging out by the back door and I just gave him some homemade raw food, which he's eating. And the other plate near him is actually Splash's breakfast. So he did not eat his breakfast, which is also raw food. It was the primal raw and I put it aside for him and he didn't eat it all day. Uh, so I just give it to Hydrox. If Hydrox wants to eat it, he can. And if he doesn't want to eat it, I'm sure one of the other animals outside will be happy with it, whether it's a raccoon or possum or whatever. So Hydrox is set with his food. And here's Stella and Splash, and they're waiting to eat their dinner. Here's Simba on the stairs. It is 8.17 p.m. Look at this. Hydrox ate all of the food. There's three empty plates. There's an empty plate from his breakfast. Uh, There's one on the stairs. The other two are from his dinner. So he ate all of his dinner. And he wants more food. It is 9 p.m. and Hydrox is having his third dinner. So he had raw food. Then he had a can of food. Now he's having another can of food. I don't know why, but he's starving. We're not supposed to get any storms. Usually the cats eat like crazy before a storm, but I don't think we're supposed to be getting any storms tomorrow. I could be wrong. Um, but it's a good thing he's eating because when cats are sick, they usually don't want to eat. So, I mean, it just goes to show you he's pretty healthy. It's 7.30 a.m. and Hydrox was right. It's raining, it's been raining all morning. It's supposed to rain all day. See, you can predict the weather by a feral cat's appetite. He ate so much dinner last night because he knew we were getting bad weather today. Good morning, Simba. You still sleeping? Simba's sleeping in the cat tower. Simba, you're so fluffy, I have to pet you, okay? I have to pet you because you're so fluffy. Good morning. Good morning, Stella. Are you looking out the window? Stella slept on the bed all night. She just got up a little while ago. Stella, I have to pet you because you're so fluffy. And look who this is. Splash slept on top of the couch cushion by the window. I guess this is one of his new favorite spots. He looks very comfy. And I'm not going to disturb him because if I try to pet him, he'll run off the couch. And I'll just let him be cozy a while longer. And here's Boo. Good morning, Boo. Boo slept on the bed with Stella. Boo and Stella slept next to each other all night. Right, Boo? Boo says right. Right, Boo. Stella's wearing her boa. Doesn't she look pretty? She's relaxing on the bed in her boa. Stella, you're so pretty. Hello, Splash. How are you, Splash? Are you comfortable on the bed? Splash says he's very comfortable on the bed. He's waiting for Stella to join him. You look fierce today, Splash. You're very fierce. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 12 p.m. and here's Hydrox. 
So Hydrox had breakfast already. He had a full can of food. He had half a can of chicken and half a can of tuna. And it was a 5.5 ounce can. And he wants more food because he's been meowing at me. So I just opened another can of food. I'm going to give it to him. But he's doing really well. He looks really good. His fur looks so much better than it did during the summer. Remember, fur can look really kind of gnarly in the summer because of the heat and the bugs and, you know, stuff like that and all the dirt and the mud. And it's been really dry here. The weather has been so dry lately. Other than, like, the rain we've gotten over the past few days, it's been really dry, so that helps. And also, now that the weather is cooler again, Hydrex has been using one of the shelters again. So that keeps him, like, neater in appearance. It keeps him cleaner. Uh, during the summer when he's out, you know, laying in the dirt and sleeping under bushes, um, he's obviously going to be a lot uh, dirtier and look a lot more unkept. So, um, so yeah, this is an update on Hydrox. I'm going to give him some more food. And, um, yeah, it's a nice day so far. It's 2.18 p.m. and there are three cats laying on the bed today. So here's Stella. Here's Simba. And there's Boo. Ooh, you got a reflection on you. That's weird. And where's Splash? Look at where Splash is. He's up in the penthouse. He likes it up there. So the other day, Simba jumped up there, and maybe he was looking for his round tub, and instead he saw the penthouse, which is like this tent bed, and he was like putting his head in it, and he put the first half of his body in it, but then he was like sniffing around and then I guess he decided he uh, wanted to be in the round tub instead, so uh, so then he jumped off. But um, Splash really likes it up there. And look at this, look at this. Boo just moved and his tail is on Simba. Look at that. He's resting with his tail on Simba. And Stella is sleeping like a human with her head on the pillows. Hello, Splash. How are you? You look fierce today, Splash. You're very fierce. Doesn't Splash look cute in the penthouse? Boo says he looks cute on the bed. Okay, Boo, you're cute too. That's why Splash is cute. Splash is cute because you're cute, Boo. You know that's your baby boy. Good morning, Boo. Boo's been playing with his dragonfly this morning. So I play with Boo for a little while every morning with his dragonfly. And he runs around chasing it and then right now he's been trying to pluck it. And this is what has been going on here over the past few days. This is a new runner for the hallway uh, that I bought at Home Depot the other day. And I bought it because it is a runner by the roll. So you tell them how many feet of runner you want and they cut it for you. And then you have a runner much longer than the typical runners that you can buy, which are usually the standard is like eight feet. Uh, sometimes you could find 10 feet, but you can never find anything more than 10 feet. And I think the one that I had was a 10 foot runner and it just goes all over. So I wanted something at least twice that length. I wanted a 20 foot runner. Um, so that's what I got. And the cats have been really enjoying this. Boo especially because he uses it like like a runway. And I get him running from one side to the other and from one side to the other. And even Simba, um, with the laser pointer, Simba will run from one side to the other. So I think it's really good exercise for them.
So the only issue when you buy a runner by the foot is you have this one end, which is where they cut it. And they do sell tape. Uh, they sell like a binding tape in Home Depot that you can use on it. But the only binding tape that they had um, when I was there was black. So the guy said that I could order some online that should be able to match the rest of this binding, which is gray. So that's the other thing I'm gonna do. And um, one other issue that I had, um, I think the employee who helped me was fairly new uh, because he cut it way longer than I needed it. So um, I probably have like an extra 18 inches of runner here uh, that I need to cut off um, before I uh, kind of bind up the side. Um, so, I mean, it would have been nice if he would have cut me exactly the size I needed. Um, but I guess he wanted to err on the side of caution and give me a little bit more. Uh, but that just means now that I have to cut a straight edge into it and um, do that. And it's been working pretty well so far. And the cats like to lay on it. So here's Stella. She likes to lay on it. They did have a few different colors. Um, and patterns. I wanted something plain, which they did not have. They did not have any plain ones without a pattern. Um, they had two of them there. One was like black with almost like an oriental rug type pattern, and I did not want that one. Then they had another one that was like red and beige with an oriental rug type pattern on it, and I've learned that I can't have those rugs because it's much harder to see like hairballs or accidents on those rugs. Um, the best thing for me to do, the best thing, the best thing for me to do is to get a rugs that are plainer with less of a pattern. And, um, so this is, this is one that they had, uh, that is neutral. I want, also wanted to get a neutral one. Now they had another one that was like in navy blue, um, with a little bit more of a pattern to it. And I was thinking about getting that one. I'm still thinking about maybe I should get that one also. So this runner was about $80. He actually charged me less than what he actually cut for me. So I ended up spending a little bit less than $80. So I think that's a really good deal um, for what it is. And the cats really like it. The cats love running back and forth on it. And what made me come up with the idea is that uh, the other day I was playing with this dragonfly toy with Boo in the hall and he would run really great on the runner that I had, but once he got on the floor, he'd start sliding around, and um, they kind of stopped his play time because he didn't really like sliding that much. So that's when I was like, well, what if I just got a runner that went the length of the entire hallway from the wall on one side all the way to the wall on the other side? I think I think a longer rug would be heavier, so it would move around less. And if it actually went from one wall to the other, it would also move around less because there's there's less area for it to slide around. And so we'll, we'll see how that goes. So far, it's been a few days and uh, the cats like it.
It is 10.39 a.m. I just gave Hydrox a big plate of food, which he ate. There's the empty plate. Oh, there's a bee on the plate. See the bee? Or maybe it's a wasp. It's eating the crumb that's left over. And there's Hydrox. See how much better he looks? So I'm gonna give him more food. It's 5.25 p.m. and look who's laying on the bed together. Stella and Boo. How you doing, Boo? How you doing, Boo? You didn't have to get up. You didn't have to get up. You're stretching. How you doing, Stella? You feel okay? You okay, Stella? Stella, you're so fluffy. You're so fluffy. Where's Simba? There's Simba. Hello, Simba. Simba's hanging out by the back door. How you doing, Simba? You look very handsome. Look who Simba's been talking to. It's Hydrox. Simba's been hanging out with Hydrox. It is 7 p.m. And it is super windy out. I don't know what's going on, but a little while ago, the wind kicked up, and, and it's just been crazy windy. Hopefully nothing's going to blow away. But everything outside's pretty heavy. So, um, yeah, hopefully nothing... Nothing heavy will blow away. I just gave Hydrax some food, so he's having some canned food. If he eats all that, I'll give him some more food. Uh, the inside cats are going to eat in about an hour. And, um, yeah, I don't think I filmed anything all day today. I don't even know if I filmed anything yesterday. I'm really just trying to catch up with a lot of the videos. Um, right now, as I speak, I'm about uh, three or four weeks behind. I would say about three weeks behind. So I'm just trying to get some videos caught up uh, before the end of the year so I've cut back on filming a little bit just as I try to catch up. Here's Boo. How you doing Boo? So all the cats relaxed today and the window was wide open because it was a beautiful day until this afternoon and then like some uh, dark clouds rolled in and it rained a little bit but uh, Boo smells the food. <laughs> He's like, how come Hydrox gets to eat? Meanwhile, Boo, I don't know. I don't know what Boo's doing. He hasn't really been eating his food very well. He eats his crunchies super well, um, but he hasn't been eating his food very well. I think sometimes he just holds out for like canned food. Right, Boo? Boo, are you spoiled? Are you spoiled, Boo? Stella was right next to me, otherwise Boo would have ran. Boo would have ran away from the door, but Stella's right near my feet. And here's what else is going on here. So I planted some cat grass a few days ago. This is oat grass, and it's been growing well. I'm just about to give it to the cats, probably tomorrow. I'll put this in the turbo scratcher for them. And this is one of the wand toys that I used with the dragonfly and it broke. That metal piece on the end of the wand toy completely came off. So I had to get some, some kind of really strong glue and I glued it. So hopefully now uh, it'll stay on better. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.